No. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we'll just wait a few seconds for uh, everybody to join, just as it only just turned three o'clock. So if you bear with us for just a few seconds uh, before we start, just to make sure uh, nobody misses anything. Uh, to those of you who already joined, welcome to the webinar. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> okay, it looks like the numbers are popping up. Um, just before we kick off, just to let you know, there's a Q&A function. Uh, if you want to take a moment just to find that on the system, uh, please feel free to submit any questions you have, either in English or Italian, throughout the webinar, and we'll try and get back to you and answer the questions at the very end. So if anything pops to mind, hopefully it will be covered in what we're going to discuss, um, but we can see them here up on our screen now, and we'll uh, try and answer those for you live on air. If we don't have the answer, we'll um, get in touch with you by email afterwards. Yeah, we will. Okay, well, it looks like there's some good numbers here. So as I said, welcome to the pre-departure webinar for Viva 2020. Um, I'm Aaron Wiltshire, Head of uh, Event Strategy here at ETOA, and this is my colleague. Manuela, Market Manager Italy at ETOA. So I'm sure you all know Manuela very well already, and she's been kind of one of the leading forces in this brand new event for ETOA. It's our very first uh, Italy-only focused uh, workshop in the model of ETOA's typical B2B matchmaking workshops and we're very excited about it very and excited. I hope you are too and we're just going to go through in this webinar um, how to prepare, some practical details, we're going to do a demonstration of the appointment system which opens this Wednesday. Um, so as I said, uh, there's also a Q&A so if we don't cover anything that you have a burning question about please submit that and we'll try and answer that for you. Um, so without further ado, I'll just go over a few practical details about the event. So Viva 2020, uh, it's the Italian marketplace, will take place at the Crown Plaza, Rome, St. Peter's on Tuesday the 18th of February this year, so not long now. And the schedule of the day uh, differs slightly from our usual um, uh, events. We will be uh, kicking off with registration and a welcome refreshment at 8.30 in the Foro di Cesare in, in the venue. Um, we will then start the day, uh, and this is the different bit, uh, with the Itoa introduction and Italy briefing. Uh, as this is our first dedicated uh, event to the uh, uh, Italian industry, we wanted to kind of set the scene as to what we do uh, for the market as one of our key markets, as demonstrated by Manuel's hard work in uh, uh, trying to get the, uh, the, the word out there. Um, so we'll be starting actually with a bit of information about Itoa and then a really great panel, which uh, Manuel will introduce in a minute, um, kind of setting the scene about the national and regional, stra regional strategies for tourism in Italy. So that should be super engaging and uh, really interesting way to start the day and hopefully quite inspirational going forward into your meetings, which um, they will start at 10.30 sharp uh, in the Fori Imperiali in the venue. Um, I say sharp because once the clock starts, there's no stopping it. We don't exactly. have any control over that. Exactly. Uh, it is based around pre-determined um, appointments of which you'll have a schedule. You have to stick to those. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it, but there'll be some more information about that in a minute. Um, lunch will be served at 12.54. Uh, there'll be coffee breaks throughout the day. And then we finish the day at 5.30, followed by a nice informal drinks reception where you can catch up with any of your industry colleagues or maybe meet with some people that you haven't been matched with during the day. Um, so, uh, Manuela will just go through quickly the speakers that we have, and this is a really high profile set of people, um, yes. so hopefully that will be exciting and impressive for you. Great panellists uh, joining the beginning of our event. So we're going to have the Under Secretary of State, Lorenza Bonacorsi, the Director of Marketing and Promozione for ENIT, uh, Maria Elena Rossi, the Director of Toscana Promozione, Francesco Palumbo, the Director of Strategy for Puglia Promozione, Luca Scandale, uh, spero di averlo pronunciato bene, and the Head of Sales Support for Trentino Marketing, um, Mirta Valentini. Yeah, so that should be a really good start to the day. Just to let you know, um, it'll be a very Italian-focused event, and as such, uh, the working language for the first bit at least will be in Italian. Yeah. Uh, no panic if uh, you worry about your language skills, that uh, speaker session will be, uh, will, interpreters will Italian, be provided. Exactly. So it will be in Italian, um, just for ease of communication and sharing of thoughts, but we have interpreters for the morning session as well. So just go back, in case you've not um, been to one of our workshops before, to reiterate exactly how it works. Um, appointments, and you'll see in a minute with how the system works, are based, whether you're a buyer, 
tour operator or supplier, be it an attraction, hotelier, they're based on your requests as well as your counterparts. So we give everybody equal weighting in terms of um, the preferences that you submit to us. So um, we will go through that in a minute. Celestina is our appointment system. You'll be receiving emails from Celestina. This is a computer system. It's not a person. We've got a team of people running the system, but it's a computer system. Uh, that's our appointment matchmaking system, which will uh, assign appointments based on your top preferences. So as we'll show in a minute, the most th we repeat this very often across all of our it's events. It's never enough. It's not just those you pick. It's the order of preference you put them in that they're assigned cascading down from your top preference to the bottom. So you'll see in a minute, it's super important, not only that you pick the people you want to see, but put them in preference, because that's how we um, roll out the appointments. And they're based on your preferences, as well as your counterparts. So suppliers have preferences, operators have preferences, and in combination, that's how we build today. So we'll have, uh, uh, you have 15 choices, but there are a much larger number of appointment slots. That's how we work that out. Uh, so it'll be a, hopefully a nice balance of um, appointments for the day. Uh, we'll, as I said, go over the appointment system, but we'll be launching that on Wednesday, and it will be open until the 31st, so that's uh, 31st, uh, Friday the 31st of January. Uh, I would suggest that even if you want to go in on Wednesday to submit your appointments, also towards the end, go back and check, because uh, there'll be maybe some new attendees, new companies, new companies on yeah. there. So uh, uh, if you submit, on Wednesday, that's great. I'm very glad that you're very prompt, but um, I recommend that you go back and just check. Uh, maybe you've had a little think about who you yeah. want to meet. There might be some new people in there. You can uh, meet and resubmit your appointments, but the cutoff deadline is Friday the 31st. Um, you'll then be provided with a provisional set of appointments. Um, that uh, allows you to prepare for the day. So that's kind of, you'll see how your day will be looking, who you're going to uh, be discussing with um, Manuela will have a few tips of how to prepare for your meetings in a minute but just to say that after your provisionals there may be some slight changes so on the day itself please only follow the printed ones that, um, that you get um, otherwise it will confuse because it will be 100% correct in terms of the ones that we print on the day but if we combine the uh, provisionals and the actuals then there might be a problem uh, so please follow the agenda on the day but use your provisionals um, to prepare. Uh, so Manuela will now go over our sponsors and profile of the people we expect on the day. Yeah. So before we go through this demo, uh, I would like to thank you, our general sponsors, um, because we couldn't be delivering such a great event without their kind support. So a huge thank you to Europass, um, Eurobus Network and Generbus. Thank you very much for your kind support um, for Viva. So um, as you know, uh, you might know, Viva is um, a brand new event, so it's going to be the first uh, edition uh, this year and uh, the half um, of the suppliers uh, attending the event and uh, a third of the buyer company uh, present on the team for February are all companies that never attended any ETOA workshop um, so there will be a lot of new faces you would be pleased to know um, and, and a lot of new um, networking and hopefully contracting um, opportunities so um, we're going to go through uh, some stats, some details about the companies um, you will meet during the day. Um, let's start with the suppliers. Obviously, uh, the suppliers, the sellers are all uh, Italians. And the region, uh, the most represented region um, in order of uh, attendance, obviously, um, are uh, Lazio, uh, where I think our <laughs> capital <laughs> has got something to do with it, um, followed by uh, Tuscany, and uh, followed by Veneto, and then representation from um, all the other uh, Italian regions. And then there's quite a large proportion of you also who represent products throughout the country. All over Italy, yes. So it might be a hotel chain that has uh, places all over or a DMC that covers multiple regions. Exactly. Um, in terms of uh, business type, uh, instead, um, majority of companies uh, at the event will be ground handler, local tour operator and uh, DMC, covering probably uh, all of the country. Um, hotels and accommodation providers from independent hotels and in chains, Italian or international, uh, followed by transport services and other kind of um, business type in order. 
Um, let's go to now the buyers um, profiles. Um, majority of them are going to be uh, tour operators, um, wholesaler and B2B uh, operators, uh, mice and corporate and uh, um, online intermediary. And so that's a good mix over there. Um, our buyers are international, obviously, so they cover uh, different um, origin markets uh, worldwide. Uh, the top three um, origin markets uh, in this case will be North America, so uh, USA and Canada, followed by Australia, uh, followed by China. Um, obviously, big representation for Europe as well with um, the UK and uh, the Nordic countries. Yeah, following the line about the wholesalers and OTAs, a uh, huge percentage actually represent worldwide markets. So yeah. we have people who are very uh, targeted in the markets they represent, but then we have lots of people who do so many, it doesn't make sense to list them independently. They call worldwide buyers. So exactly. We've got a, everything, something for everybody. <laughs> yes. Um, in uh, terms of uh, business type, uh, all these uh, operators, uh, they cover a wide range of um, uh, travel, let's say. So we go from bespoke tours, uh, tailor-made tours, uh, FIT group travelers, uh, scheduled tours, and so on. So there is a lot to pick and choose um, from. Um, so, um, as all ETOA workshops, uh, which you might be familiar with or not, um, it's going to be a long day, a whole day of B2B uh, meetings, uh, 12 minutes each. So it is very important that you follow the clock <laughs> and you don't, <laughs> you don't go missing during the day because when the clock started, there's no coming back. There's no stopping. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the setting uh, will be the usual for any TOA workshop or majority of them. Um, the buyers, uh, the tour operators will be sitting at their desk uh, while the suppliers, all the sellers are going to go around the room based on the agenda, the list of appointments that we will assign to them. So don't be disappointed. We're telling you now, exactly. if you're an operator, you'll be seated. If you're a supplier, if you're selling on the day, You'll be working. You're going to be working. Yes, <laughs> you're going to do the hard job, basically. <laughs> um, so a bit of a tip uh, for you sellers, uh, as there will be a lot of walking uh, involved, uh, do not bring uh, a lot of printed material, heavy material. Uh, if you want to, please do so. But it's better for you. So you're going to be it's going to be easier for you to go around and move as quickly as possible among uh, the tables. Wear comfortable shoes. Uh, that's very, really important. Um, and remember, uh, you're going to be uh, under the same roof during the same time. So just in case you don't have a company that you selected during your um, selection that we're going to show you now uh, in your appointment list, uh, don't be disappointed because disappointed because this person is going to be there. So even if it's not included in your list, uh, there will be plenty of time to catch up and go talk to them because during the day there will be moments like coffee breaks, uh, the lunch break the drink receptions at the end of the workshop which are not only moments for you to catch a breath and you know have a rest check some emails or anything you might want to do but these are um, networking uh, moments so just go sit down next to a buyer you want to talk to just go talk to anyone you may like it's not uh, lost because you don't have it in your 12 minute slot this person is going to be there so just make the most um, out of it. If you remember for the sellers, when you receive your list of appointments on the back of the agenda, you're going to have the seating plan. So you're going to know which buyer is sitting where. So it's going to be easier for you to locate them and go grab them um, whenever you're free or they are free. Um, you will receive, again, a provisional um, appointment list a couple of days before the event via email. Again, this is provisional for a reason. There might be some change before the event. This is just a, a guideline for you to prepare and have a flair on the companies you're going to meet. So if you want to check their company profiles, um, you want to go on the yeah. website and research what kind of business they do, what they're looking for. This is for you to go and come prepare. But the final list will be the printed one you will collect at registration. Uh, I will give it to you or me or my colleague. <laughs> uh, we will be there waiting for you. So just remember, the final list will be the one I will personally give you, okay? <laughs> if you are a seller, at least. The buyers will find it on the table, at their designated table. 
and registration again open at 8.30. Uh, we recommend you come on time also because you're going to have some nice breakfast. You're going to participate to the panel discussion, which is going to be very interesting. Remember, 10.30 sharp. The first appointment started and there's no way back. We are very, very inflexible about that. Uh, another point about what you bring, it also is an opportunity because as we said, it's only 12 minutes, so you won't be able to seal the deal in that 12 minutes. So actually not having all of your materials with you gives you a great opportunity to follow up. Exactly. And the, the, the real, uh, the work starts in the follow up. I mean, it'll be a busy day, yeah, but really. it's when you go back to the office and go through who you met, what you discussed, the parameters of what um, the business, kind of mutual business interests you had, that's when you can then send your wonderful PDF presentations and things like that. So don't waste the time on the day when you have 12 minutes face to face, maybe hold some stuff back to then follow up with afterwards. Exactly. It is vital that you um, emphasize the follow up. And it's also is... eco-friendly. Indeed. Okay, unless you have any other points, we'll now do a demo of the yep. AMS system. So if yep. you just bear with me, uh, we will share the screen. The um, uh, system for our event is not just yet ready. So that's we're gonna be using one for another event that's coming up soon the Hoteliers European Marketplace. So there'll be a few differences into what you'll see, but the principle is 100% the same. Um, so on Wednesday, so this Wednesday, you will be sent, as I said, an email from Celestina, which is our appointment management system, with your confirmation number. Check your spam folder, just in case. If you don't receive it, don't panic. Just check your spam folder, because sometimes these emails tend to go there. Indeed. We are sending them on Wednesday. Bear in mind, uh, it's primary delegates who get access to this. So um, secondaries will be sharing their appointments with their primaries. So there's only one set of um, uh, preferences that can be submitted if you're doing a primary, secondary setup. And the email will be delivered to the email address you use to register for the event. So if there's been a change of colleague attending the event, the email will go to the original email address used to register to the event. Remember that. Okie doke. So as I said, you'll be sent a confirmation number and then you can log in. Now we've provided a lot of instructions, but that might be overwhelming. So this is one of the reasons that we are going to walk you through it now. So uh, ignore the deadline on here. The deadline for ours is the 31st. Um, uh, we've got another event coming up soon, but here are very detailed instructions of how to use the system you will not find yourself in the system. You will only see your counterparts. So don't panic, you're in there, but you just go and see it because we don't want you to select yourself because that's not how this works. Um, so, so there's lots of instructions here. You'll have 15 preferences and I cannot stress highly enough, you need to put them in your order of preference from top to bottom. Uh, the amount of times we see people submitting their preferences in alphabetical order, that's not how to make the most of yep. this system. Um, it will benefit the people who start with a number or the A's, so uh, make sure that you pay attention to make sure you do it uh, in the right order. But we do have some filters to assist your selection. So as I said, the example we're using is slightly different from what we'll be using. Uh, the categories won't just be hotels, it'll be all the different yep. types. At the moment, we're signed up as a tour operator, so you'll see suppliers in this example, uh, but you'll also see your counterpart um, options and the different categories that we have based on registration. So if you're a seller, you're gonna have a full list of buyers uh, to select from basically. Um, and instead of these countries, we'll have the regions within Italy um, uh, or the markets that they'll be representing. Uh, so it'll be flipped, but it'll make sense when, when you see your version. Uh, filter one can be added in combination of the first two options. Um, and filter two can be done, but they can't be done interchangeably. So if you use one or the other, they don't work together. Uh, the categories will be either uh, the operator types. Uh, oh no, sorry. On, on filter two, there's, we've already done a level of um, filtering for you. So in registration, everybody submitted an outline of what they were after. Yeah. That doesn't mean you're bound to only meet with those people, but this gives you an indication of the people, for instance, who are already looking for uh, a certain type of product or, or vice versa. So it helps you already go to find the people who will be looking to meet with you. Um, so that helps. Or if you have someone in mind, you can put the company name in. 
they're all listed here as well. So um, uh, if we use an example here, uh, let's see what comes up. Uh, North America. Okay. Uh, it will go up to the top of the page. So here the filter has been applied. And this is where we can start going through. So some of the um, names of the companies may be well known to you, some others may not. So you can click view, and then you see uh, company description and also um, the website. So this is where the research starts. So I mean, I set a few set aside a few hours to go through this process, uh, so you make the right decision. I'd say maybe go in on Wednesday and then come and maybe back next week yeah. just to make sure that you, you've covered all your bases. So if you're happy one, with these options, then you just click Add, and they pop over to the right-hand side. Yeah. So then maybe let's use another example on this side. Whenever you want to apply another filter, you just reset everything and start all over again. Now let's see. The Italian is going to help. So I yeah, should see that. Uh, Yes, that's the one, Boyotels. Let's add. add. We won't go through the whole 15 options because this the is process just an is example. The same. process is the same. But as we've stressed, you have to put them in order. So if my top priority, imagine I am a buyer and I'm selecting the companies. Um, I've selected these three, but my top priority, I really, really need to see Boyotels. That's what I'm going to put first. So even if you don't find it straight away, if you add it as a third choice, fourth choice, fifth choice, once you've done your selection, just put up the first three you absolutely don't want to miss because these are the selections, yep. the options that we tend to accommodate 99% of the, the time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, as a company at the beginning with V, we've done a good job for them and put them right at the top. Exactly. So they're not going to fall foul of um, the alphabetical order. So once you've done those, hit submit my choices and uh, you'll have them there and we'll receive notification you've done that um, as will you. As I said, it's open until the 31st. You'll be able to go in and check those. Um, we will chase everybody that hasn't done well, it in that yeah, time exactly. because I mean, everyone benefits if they participate in this process and it makes for a much better workshop. The Q&A session is still open so we will if you have any questions specifically you'd like us to demonstrate on the system now, please start submitting them. Um, uh, we'll see them up on the screen if it's about the agenda, if it's about the uh, how to use the AMS, please start submitting questions now um, because I think from our side that's everything that we wanted yeah. to show you. Yeah. Um, so we have a first question here. Interesting question. Uh, Tour operators cannot meet with other tour operators. Uh, that said, obviously a lot of them will be inbound operators. So tour operator buyers who are outbound from their market will not be able to meet other people like that. But if you're talking about um, meeting inbound operators, who you're looking to do your receptive work for you, then yes, they are attending as suppliers. Yeah. So technically a tour operator of type, if they're a DMC, inbound operator, ground handler, they'll be attending as a supplier. But say, for instance, uh, two wholesalers won't be able to meet. No. Um, why would they? But um, obviously, we'll all be in the same room. If you really want to find one of your industry colleagues who work on the buying side, we'll be on hand to assist you meet, meet, meeting each other up. And you're sat in alphabetical order um, as operators, so exactly. you can find each other. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, we're happy to sit and wait until any more questions um, please take this opportunity now to submit anything so you have like that because uh, it just benefits everybody Everyone, else. Yeah. Someone else might have, have sort of something that um, they may not, not have, so this gives opportunity. A recording of this uh, webinar will be available uh, and we'll send a recording round later today. Yeah. Um, so... Any, oh, there we go. Are we going to receive the full list with emails and telephone number before? 
no. Uh, when so you will receive uh, via email your list of appointments with the company uh, name, which is the same one that you're gonna collect uh, during the day. Um, but we're gonna produce the events uh, directories, so a catalog, um, where you will see basically anyone who's attended the workshop with name, surname, company, email address, and telephone number. Um, so that's for you to take um, during during the day if you lose the business card or you don't remember or anything, there will be an event directory for you uh, to collect during the event. And I guess mm -hmm. a PDF version, um, online version on our website. And there's some interesting functionality also after the event's taken place, you can log back into the um, appointment system and there's a record of there and a contact function in there as well. Uh, yeah. We've got a very important question coming through here. How many delegates are we permitted to bring and how late can they be added to the reservation? This will really depend whether you are a buyer or supplier. Um, or buyer, it's one delegate per company, just one. Uh, suppliers, they have the possibility to bring a secondary delegate, but just one. So two from the supplier side, one from the buyer side. Uh, for which there is a charge. So please get in touch with us and we can yeah. book you in a secondary. It's not at the same rate as the primary. Um, but uh, we're happy to have colleagues along, but unfortunately there'll be a, there'll be a charge for that. <laughs> but on the buyers, just purely because of the scale of this event, it was our first try. So um, we really have been working hard to get a good balance of the operators there. Uh, as you've seen, they represent all different types of markets and that they have been vetted uh, as appropriate for this particular event. Okay, we've just been asked to repeat the schedule of the day. <laughs> Off the top of my head so registration will start from 8 30. Okay. um the suppliers will be able to pick up their packs uh whilst whilst they arrive and we'll have some light refreshments and coffee etc then we'll have our presentation um part of the day from nine o'clock uh that's for about an hour and a half we'll give you time to get to the main room but the appointments will start at 10.30. Yeah. The clock will start then. Uh, operators will be seated at that point. They'll have been um, shown where their desks are and their packs will be on the, the desks. Uh, but once we start, it will be rolling 12 minute appointments, yeah. a few uh, coffee breaks, lunch break, uh, and then all the way until um, 5.30. Everything will be announced during the day. Um, if you have any doubt, you can go to our website, uh, events section, Viva, and on the tab right above the video, uh, there will be a tab called workshop. If you click on that, you're going to have all the information on the schedule, starting time of any moment and anything else. Um, if you're concerned that you may be needing to go to get a flight or um, you, you're already aware of some delays, please let us know in advance because then we can block you out because that will cause issues later on if we find that out near the time and there'll be disappointment with the people who want to meet with you if your times are reduced. But okay. if we find out as soon as possible, um, contact us um, on the Celestina help desk and by the support at Celestina email address. Just let us know and we can work out the best um, block that we can put out for you. Obviously, we'd love you to be there for the whole day. It's not much for us. Come on, we're, we're giving you a hardcore session of um, meetings. Uh, we feel it's the um, most, uh, the best way to spend a day. There's not a huge amount of walking around as it would be an exhibition. It's a really focused uh, way of doing business. So we've had Anyone no more else? questions in. I hope uh, the, the answers we provided are, are, are useful for the people who are coming. Uh, if not, please feel free to um, submit them to. Manuela by email and we'll, we'll try our best or to the Celestina help desk if they specifically relate to how the appointments work. So remember this Wednesday we'll open the appointment system, check your spam folder just in case. The appointment system will close definitely on the 31st of January. You can select your choices starting from Wednesday and then review them up until the last day on the 31st of January. Once you've submitted that, that's it. You're going to work on that and surprise, surprise, you're going to know who you're meeting on the day of the workshop. Uh, don't panic about the um, uh, provisional versus actual. It's kind of 99, uh, 95 to 100% the same. It may just be the times that change. Uh, I mean, we try our hardest to not change things too much um, and hopefully that will uh, result in a good successful day for you. So I won't be at the event myself, but Manuela looks forward to meeting you in Rome. Yes, I uh, will. In a few weeks time, 
we're available uh, via email if you have any follow-up questions. We'll be sending a recording around later today. Last few seconds to submit any questions. Last chance. If not, thank you very much okay. for joining the uh, webinar today, and uh, we'll see you in a moment. Bye. Thank you very much.